I liked what I saw. I thought we played really well in doubles. Uh, so we set the tone there. And um, uh, one doubles team in particular I thought was absolutely outstanding. They uh, served well, they returned well, and they were just relentless at the net. Our two team, um, I told them it, it was probably the most I've seen us in weeks here g getting a hold of first balls at the net too. So we did a good job pinching the middle and uh, three made a lot of returns and first serves, which is what we stressed uh, as far as doubles is concerned. So, you know, that set a great tone for us. And then I thought we were uh, excellent in singles as well. We had high ball tolerance when we needed to. And we were aggressive on those courts where we were able to move forward. So overall, I was very pleased. Um, are Courtney and Olivia becoming the best club team in the MLS? Well, they're playing at the highest level now. You could see that today. They have... Uh, a tremendous amount of confidence and they're you know they, they can play three strike tennis and doubles and that uh, if you know at one against the really good teams you can't hit and look you got to be able to hit and go and I think they're they're right there now um, I don't know if you saw but it was my understanding that the wind down discussions and the Wimbledon down was both side discussions were fairly opposite what was your experience with uh, no, I thought Belinda did well. That the player at five for LSU makes a million balls, and that's something we've been practicing with Belinda. You know, the fact that she has to go deeper into count, ground stroke count, and and not lose patience. And the player today was a, an excellent test for her. And down five four, she made some great decisions, stepped forward when she needed to, and then she was ultimately up six five in the first set. So I was actually uh, happy with what transpired. Even though we didn't get the finish, it was an hour and I don't know how long first set. But uh, it, we looked like we were the stronger player by the time it ended, and, and I was very pleased with that. Is there anything left for this team to do before the Super Final starts? Oh, good heavens. Yeah, we, we've we got uh, two more weekends. So the SEC tournament is, uh, you know, we're still on the hunt for the regular season. So... All we worry about tomorrow, we're going to run. So we're, uh, w we've changed our practice schedule, our training schedule a little bit because the weather is changing now finally for the warmer. And so we're actually going to run. We're going to go to the grass tomorrow afternoon. So we ran a little bit yesterday. We played today. And we're going to run a lot tomorrow and then take Tuesday off. So we're beginning the, you know, maybe the, the outdoor, you know, the physical part of our training now. And so uh, the, the tournament is, is – uh, too far away for us to worry about that at this point. Okay. And um, when you go into World Cup in the second round here, what have you seen from them up until this point? Well, they started off the season on a real high. I mean, they they beat a Virginia team that I think is maybe top five in the country, and we were serving for it twice against the reigning NCAA champion at the indoors. But maybe uh, – you know, a few weeks after that period, they took a few losses, lost a little confidence, and and today was really good. It was key. They played a good team today where they had to make good decisions and, like I said, be more aggressive on our own serves. And I think today was a great step for us. They needed to find that little swagger again, and today was a good sign. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.